Yo, what's going on, subscribers, YouTube fight fans? This is G Funk here, and it's time to do a prediction video on a highly anticipated fight between Canelo Alvarez and Austin No Doubt Trout. And this fight is taking place. Uh, was supposed to be on the undercard of the Mayweather Guerrero fight, but you know contracts or whatever fell apart. And um, now they're fighting on April 20th in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, which is a good thing because uh, April 20th is a special day for me. It's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so the gods have given me a good gift, the boxing gods, you know. So um, I'm thankful for that. And this is going to be a good fight. Um, you know, you got two young champions going at it in the same division. Uh, you know, what more can you ask for as a boxing fan? Not much. Not much more you can ask for there. So, um, before I, I get into breaking down the fight, you know, I made a video about maybe a month ago or so about about Canelo. It was called, uh, Don't Believe the Hype, you know? And, um, that video's been blowing up. You know, I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of comments from that video. Uh, some people getting mad at me. Some people, you know that are fans of Canelo's, but they could, you know, they can talk real boxing with me, you know, I had this one guy who, you know, at first we were kind of going back and forth, kind of getting into it, and then, um, we ended up just, you know, talking about the fight, uh, between Trout and Canelo, and, um, you know, he ended up subscribing to my channel, which is a pretty cool thing, so, you know, that, that comes and goes with the territory, you know, I didn't create my channel to, you know, start wars on, you know, YouTube or whatever, all I want to do is talk boxing, you know, if you don't, if you don't like it, change the fucking channel, you know, it's that simple, but, um, you know, I'm not on here to, uh, you know, be a fanboy or dick ride, you know, I don't, I don't do stuff like that, I don't, I don't have a favorite fighter, so I don't, I don't, I don't play favorites, I don't play those type of games, so, you know, I just want to get that out the way right here. I'm not a fan of Trout. I'm not a fan of Canelo. I'm not a fan of any fighter. I just, I'm a fan of boxing. That's that, you know? So, with that being said, it's time to get into the fight. Now, I want to, I want to first, first thing I want to say about this fight is that I want to give Canelo credit. I want to give, I want to give him, you know, all the credit in the world for taking this fight. He's the guy with the pull, he's the guy with the clout, whatever you want to call it, in the boxing game, in the boxing business. You know, he could have easily took on another, you know, older fighter, smaller fighter, someone, you know, not as good as him or whatever, whatever you want to call it. You know, he could have kept doing what he was doing, but he, he finally chose to step his game up and take on uh, Austin Trout. And, uh, you know, I give the guy all the credit in the world for that. That's a good thing, you know, young champion stepping up, just like Austin Trout did against Miguel Cotto in his last fight. So, alright, let's break it, let's, let's give a little breakdown now. Alright, so, with Canelo, um, you know, obviously when you look at the guy, um, you know, he passes the eye test, no problem. You know, he looks, he, he's big, he's strong, um... You know he, he has good power, although to me it's still a question mark, and I'll get and I'll get into that in in a little bit. Um, throws very good combinations. Uh, he's very he's very tight and compact when he throws punches, which is something that I like in in fighters. You know, you don't want to you know leave yourself too wide open when you when you're throwing combinations like that, like he does. But um, you know he's a he's a good young fighter, man. He's got a lot of potential. Um, you know, sky's the limit for him, you know, but, you know, it, it's up to him, you know, whether he wants to keep putting in the work in the gym and, and keep taking on, you know, good stiff competition to improve, you know. As for some of the things that I don't like he does in the ring, um, you know, he takes big chunks of rounds off. Um, you know, I can remember Nassim Richardson saying something about how he thinks that Canelo struggles to make weight and... You know, he does, that's why he doesn't want to fight, you know, a full three minutes of a round, you know. He, he does tend to take, you know, a lot of time off. I don't know if it's part of the game plan of him just trying to be patient or what, but 
um, I don't think that that's something that he can get away with uh, with a guy like Austin Trout. You know, another thing is also his defense is, is it's not there yet. To me, he gets hit an awful lot, man. Um, you know, if you go back and watch the Shane Mosley fight and even the Jose Cito Lopez fight, um, to me, he took a lot of unnecessary shots, man. Shots that he could have avoided or just, you know, he, I mean, a lot of the times he was letting these guys stand right in front of him and just punch him, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, he took him, but at the same time, you know, I've, I've mentioned this in my other video about Canelo that, you know, I mean, he took these shots that he was getting hit with, but at the same time, these guys are, you know, much older, smaller, you know, so they might not have, they might not carry that power, you know, like, like a true 154 pounder would, like Austin Trout, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. We're going to find out if he can take a good shot from a, a true 154-pound fighter. And, you know, I've also touched on this on, my, on the last video I did on Canelo about his resume not being good, you know. This is a big step up for him, man, you know. Trout, Trout is very good, man. I know a lot of you guys don't like him. A lot of the Canelo fans don't like him. Even a lot of the Cotto fans are hating on him. But, I mean, the guy's good, man. You got to give credit where credit, credit is due, you know. Um... And like I mentioned about his power, you know, I think he's got good power in his punches, but I don't think it's as good as his fans, you know, seem, seem to believe, you know. Uh, like I said, he hasn't fought a true 154-pounder yet, so we'll see how that power, you know, works against, you know, a true 154-pound fighter. We're going to find out. You know, it's still a question mark. We're going to find out. Um... Well, all in all, he's, he, like I said, he's a very good young fighter. A lot of potential. As for Austin Trout, um, you know, I was very impressed with him when he fought Miguel Cotto. I, you know, I didn't think he was going to win that fight. I actually picked him to lose the fight. Uh, he proved me wrong, and he, he showed a lot, of, a lot of good things in the ring. He's very versatile. Um, one thing about him is that I think that he's um, a very good... Uh, slick defensive fighter he has very good upper body movement head movement he avoids good shots um, he's got an excellent right jab and he also likes to mix in a, a nice little short right hook off that jab you know I noticed that he caught Miguel Cotto a lot when he was coming in lunging in trying to get to his body he would check him with a good left hook and he also he's not shy about going to the body you know, he landed a lot of good straight left hands to Miguel Cotto's body in that fight. And he showed that he can fight on the inside with a guy like Miguel Cotto. You know? He's not shy in there. He'll throw punches. He'll use his body, his shoulders to shrug you off and then land punches after that. He's, he's good, man. You know? He's a good fighter, man. I was very impressed with him. Um, as for the things that I, I noticed that I, don't, that I don't like that he does in the ring... You know, there's times where he tends to get low. You know, and what I mean is he, he's not, uh, you know, utilizing his uh, physical advantages that he has. Like, uh, he had, a, obviously, a height advantage against Miguel Cotto. There was times where I seen him where he's getting really low. He was almost eye level with Miguel Cotto. And um, that's one thing he, he can't do. He has to you know, use, stay tall, you know. Stay on the outside with that jab and create and keep that distance, you know. And also, another thing I noticed when, early in the fight, when he had success uh, against Miguel Cotto, mid-rounds, he, he tried to, you know, walk Miguel Cotto down, you know, he tried to become the pressure fighter, and then he was, he was walking into a lot of clean shots himself, you know, and um, that's one thing I don't think that he should, he should be trying to do if, again, in this fight uh, versus Canelo, um, unless he really feels like he's got him hurt or, you know, tired or whatever, you know, then I say, you know, hey, go, f go for the knockout if you can, but, um, you know, like I said, in the Cotto fight, he, he tried to walk him down mid-rounds, and that's when Miguel Cotto really started to catch him on the way in, you know, and that's something that he definitely should not try to do in this fight with Canelo. I think that, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in, in the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know, so, 
if if staying if creating distance and staying on the outside, you know, using your jab and counter punching Canelo is working, then stick to it, man. Don't try to walk the guy down unless you know you feel he's ready to go. Now, with all that being said about these two fighters, um, I'm gonna give my prediction now, and I do see this fight going the distance. I do see it going 12. And the guy who I see winning the fight is uh, Austin No Doubt Trout. And the reason why I say that is a few reasons why. Because, like I've already said with Canelo, this is a big step up for him, man. And um, you know he's never he's never fought a guy uh, like Trout. Never seen a guy like this before. I mean, there's a lot of people who think that Miguel Cotto and Canelo's styles are similar, you know? I mean, yeah, at certain certain times they are, but not not, not the entire style is the same to me. Um, so Trout's kind of seen something like this, you know? And he's been on the elite stage, and so has Canelo, you know? But um, I just think that at the end of the day, I got to go with the guy who brings more to the fight, you know? And I think that he's got a lot of different things that he can do. He's more versatile than Canelo. And, um, you know, I, I see him making Canelo miss and making him pay a lot. I see the jab being very effective. And, and you know, the boxing ability of Austin Trout is something that I think is going to get him the win in this fight. So, yeah, I'm going to take Austin Trout by unanimous decision. I'm thinking something like maybe like eight rounds to four, something in that area, you know. But, um... Good. I think it's going to be a competitive fight, though. You know, both these guys are good and, and young. You know, they're both champions for a reason. I mean, I know Canelo, he, you know, I've been very critical of him and his fight choices or whatever, but, you know, he's a champion, man, you know. And, um, like I said, we're going to find out a lot about this guy during this fight. Now, Canelo fans... You know, if you guys get mad or whatever, you know, you can go ahead and, and hit the dislike button if you want to or whatever, but, you know, if you disagree with me on, on my prediction, that's fine. I have no problem with that, man. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know why you disagree with me. Let me know how you think the fight's going to be, you know? Break it down to me how you think it's going to happen if you disagree with me. Or if you agree that with me that Trout's going to win, but you think he's going to win a different way, you know, you can let me know as well. Just don't leave no stupid ass comments like, you know, oh, I got Canelo in eight by KO, or Trout in nine by KO, whatever, you know. Let me know. Let me know why you think that, you know. Let me know why. Break it down to me why you think that. That's all I ask, you know. Uh, that's the main reason why I started this channel, was to talk boxing, you know. We can talk about it, we can go back and forth, you know, we could agree, we could disagree. It's all good, man, to me, you know. At the end of the day, I don't take none of this stuff personal at all. Because I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fan of either one of these fighters or any fighter. So, with that said, I'm getting ready to get up out of here because there's a lot of good fights coming up and I got some work I got to do. So, you fight fans out there, let me know what you think. This is G-Funk and um, I'm signing off. Have a good day.